Hello everyone, welcome back to Kanya Art and Craft. This is Tebu Priya and today I have created a very beautiful Ma Durga painting. I have tried to keep the design very simple and easy so that anyone could recreate it. So without further ado, let's get started. Here I have taken a 10 inch diameter MDF board. I have attached one hook on the back side using screws. Here I'm using white gesso from Little Birdie to apply a layer of base coat on the board using flat brush number 10 to apply gesso and then let it dry for 2-3 to three hours. I have drawn the sketch on a paper now using a carbon paper to trace it. Taking light green color and turquoise blue and mixing them together to create this shade. Applying light green shade, applying cadmium yellow on the face part, I'll try to cover almost all the areas with yellow color except eyes and forehead. I'll also cover the neck part with yellow color. I'm applying white color as a base coat on these areas. Applying crimson on the border part. Putting white color in the space between. Covering the nose and forehead area with red color. Here I am using cadmium red. Applying chrome yellow on the corner of the face to give dimension to the face. And if you don't have chrome yellow available then you need to mix a very little amount of orange color to the cadmium yellow shade to make this color. Applying black color on the hair part using brush number 1. Applying black color on the eyebrows and the outer part of the eyes. Uh, here I'm using brush number 1 to cover this area. Drawing outline with black color on the nose part. Drawing border for the lip using black color. Drawing few curvy lines on the hair part using light brown shade to highlight. Drawing the eyeballs with black color. Applying gray color on the remaining areas. To make this color, I have mixed three portion of white and one portion of black. I have applied two layers on each part to avoid patches. I used a glass marker white pencil to mark the lines after the second coat dried so that I could follow the lines when drawing the repetitive patterns. If you're a beginner, you can use this pencil to mark the lines over the painting so that the pattern remains uniform. And if you're comfortable drawing it directly, then you do not need to use this pencil or any marker. You can just directly draw the designs on those areas. Here I'm using white color and brush number 00 to draw these designs. As you can see, I'm repeating one single motif to create a design. I'll continue to follow the same process to cover the whole area with white color and with different motifs and patterns. The design includes geometrical and traditional motifs such as paisley, lines, arcs and dots, teardrop shape, leaves, circular motifs, thick and thin lines and many more.
to draw all the lines and small designs I have used zero size long haired brush I will uh, provide via the link to the product in the description box below so you can check out from there As you can see, I'm painting a variety of motifs in order to fill the full grey area. The designs are inspired from Bengali style Alpona. Alpona is not just a form of decoration, it's a visual language that communicates deep symbolism and spirituality. The pattern used in Alpona are carefully chosen to represent various aspects like nature, fertility and divine blessings. The lotus, corn shell, I mean the shank, fish and other intricate motifs hold profound meaning within Bengali culture. The vibrant colors predominantly red and white symbolize purity, prosperity and the triumph of God over evil. Over the years, Alpana has evolved while staying true to its traditional roots. Today, artists experiment with different styles incorporating innovative patterns and techniques while preserving the essence of the ancient art form. Alpana has also found its way into various art exhibitions, cultural events and contemporary art installations and spreading its charm beyond Bengal borders. This gorgeous art form holds immense religious and social significance, often adorning homes during festivals, celebration and auspicious occasions such as Durga Puja, Lakshmi Puja. If you are enjoying the process of creating this video then please leave a comment which will inspire me to create more such videos like this. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share the videos with your art loving friends. Here I'm using brush number 0 to draw these lines. If you are not comfortable drawing these lines using brush then you can definitely go for acrylic pen which comes in different colors like black, white. I mean basically it's available in every shade. You can uh, purchase a whole set or you can purchase single or two colors separately. I'll include a link to the product in the description box below. So you can check out from there. Adding some lines maintaining equal distance. Now adding dots using dot painting tool. See even the small dots can make a big difference in the overall appearance of the artwork. By focusing on the small details you can create a sense of texture, contrast and dimension making an artwork more visually compelling. Using different sizes of dot painting tool to apply these dots. If you don't have dot painting tool then you don't need to worry you can use a toothpick or you can use the back end of your brush to create different sizes of dots. Adding 4 dots on the blouse part which will give bandhi print kind of look. This small small detailing can make a significant difference in the overall appearance of the painting. Now adding a line of dots on the border area which will definitely enhance the look of the overall painting and 
moment if you have noticed I'm using the back end of my brush to apply these dots. Now adding a half moon bindi on the forehead using white color. Using white color to draw a nose ring. Adding some tiny tiny paisley design on the outer part of the earring. Adding small small dots on the outer part of the headgear. One last dot on the forehead and we are done with this painting. Please leave a comment if you want me to create more such god and goddess painting using the same Alpona pattern. Then I can plan to create a series of this design. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.